Okay, today we're going to be solving two-step equations, but I'm going to teach you how to use your calculator to do it. So, the tools you're going to need is number one, the notes. Number two, you're going to need to get your orange calculator instructions. I would get it out of your notebook, um, or at least open your notebook so you can see the back of it. It is the, where you have all your instructions. And then obviously you're going to need your TI-84 calculator, okay? So if you do not do this with me and push the buttons that are being pushed and all those types of things, then you're not going to be successful when it comes to the practice. Um, and believe me, this is a lot easier than doing it by hand, which you had to do it before. So, but you've got to learn the steps. So the first thing that we need to do, so if you don't have all those things, get those things, pause this and get those things out and get ready. All right, we're going to get started. First thing I'm going to look at, it says steps for solving equations using a TI-84 calculator. That's at the top of your paper. First, you must set your windows, okay? So first thing I'm going to do is second plus 712, and I'm going to clear my RAM, make sure all my memory is clear, okay? Then I am going to hit clear and I am going to push the window key. And I'm going to use my pencil because I, then my fingers don't block things. And if you see right here where it says table set, it is, um, it says window right here in this gray button, okay? So I'm going to push window. And then it says, enter the following using the negative key where indicated. Okay, so we're not using the subtract key, we're using the negative key, which is down here. X minimum, we need to do negative 100. Then we're going to arrow down. X maximum, we're just going to enter 100. And then we're going to leave this X, S, C, L at 1. And we're going to put Y minimum, negative 100 and Y maximum is 100. If your windows are not set to include your answer choice, then you will, you will get an error and you will not get the answer that you need. So that's why we've determined in eighth grade math, uh, we've rarely seen anything over 100. Okay, so that's why we ask you to set your windows at 100. So then to get off of this screen, you're gonna hit the second and then the blue quit. So second and quit, which is your mode key to get off. All right, to solve an algebraic equation, do the following. Okay, so here are my notes. Here is my equation right here. It says example 5x plus 5. Well, we're going to use is equal to 25. We're going to use 2x plus 5 is equal to 13. Well, let's just do this part. No, I don't want to write on there. I want to do 2x plus 5 is equal to 13. All right? Mm, nah. We're going to come back over here. 5x plus 5 is equal to 25. So what we need to do is we need to push the y equals button right here. y equals. Okay? And so you end up with, you, you split, and I will do this, and you can do this on yours. I don't care. You split right down the equal sign and you make this side of your equation y1, this side of your equation y2. So this is your y1, and this is your y2. Well, I have a y1 and y2, okay? So push y equals, enter the first part of the equation using y1 is equal to, I'm gonna enter five. You have to use this right here as your variable. It doesn't matter if it's x, y, z, b, c, whatever it is, you push that. Then it says plus, and then 5. So I have 5x plus 5. It says enter the second part of the equation using y2. So the second part of our, my equation is 25. Just like I said before, it's like the railroad tracks. You've got two sides of your equation. Next step, it says push graph. Well, the graph key is right up here, and it's hard. I've got it moved over, right here in the corner. So you press graph. Okay. Then it says wait for the graph to come on the screen. There will be two lines. Both must come on the screen before you proceed. Okay. Some of you have calculators where there will be two different colors. Some of you have calculators where it will just be one color, it will all be black. That's fine. 
Okay, so I have my two lines. Sometimes it takes a little while for that second line to come, so you have to wait. Then it says push second. Okay, here's my second key, that blue button. Trace, which is right here next to my graph. It's under calculate, because you're actually calculating. That's why you push the second button. Then it says we want the intersection, so we're gonna press five. And then it says, first curve, we're going to hit enter. Second curve, we're going to hit enter. And then guess, we're going to hit enter. So at the bottom, in the left-hand corner, you in the screen, you will see, will be your answer. It should say x is equal to four. And four is your answer. If you were going to solve this, you would write your answer as x is equal to four. The actual point or intersection that those two lines cross at is 4 comma 25 okay but they're not asking you for the intersection point when you solve an equation for x b m c whatever variable they're using you're trying to figure out how much x equals okay um, so that would be how we do it so let's go back to our notes and we're going to do a few together and there's a few tricks to a few things also one thing you need to know, we're going to do this first one first and then we're going to talk about a little bit of something. So I want to get off this screen, so I'm going to go back to y equals, okay? First thing I'm going to do is put my line between my equal sign. Next thing I'm going to write y1 on this side, y2 on this side, so I remember what I'm doing. I'm going to, I'm going to go and I'm going to clear y1, go down, clear y2. I'm going to go up. Now, it doesn't matter what side you put in first, but I just like you to build a consistency and put the left side in under Y1 and the right side under Y2. But it will work the same if you mixed them up, okay? Two, and then remember your X and plus five, and then we're going down to Y2, and we're going to press 13. Okay, our next step, and you're going to refer to this for a while, it says push graph. So step number two is push graph, which is this key right up here, push graph. Okay, you have to wait for two lines to come across. Okay, then it says push the third step, push second, trace, five, enter 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 and at the bottom of the screen we get x is equal to four so our answer is x is equal to four okay do not just write four the answer is x is equal to four now the point where the two lines cross is 4 13 okay let's look at our next case scenario this is a booger okay it is do you see how this one's out here and this one's in here, okay? So subtract and negative, although I keep trying to say that they have the same meaning on this calculator, you have to be very, very careful that you're using the correct sign when you're inputting information into it. So let's talk a little bit about, do you see how this subtract sign is in between things, okay? So here on your card, it gives you some hints. You subtract sign between two numbers, two variables, a variable and a number, and here are some examples when you use the subtract or the minus sign, which is this one over here, okay? This says use the negative sign before a single number or variable, an expression, and some examples of that is right here in the beginning of an equation at the beginning after an equal sign in other words when it's out and it's not between anything you use the negative sign which is this one down here okay so we're going to practice that right here we're going to put our line for our equal sign y1 y2 we're going to hit y equals to get back oh second and quit what happened here? I must have pressed something when I didn't want to. So here's another kicker. Now most of you have rechargeables. 
and you can go to the back and there's a little tiny button back here when your when your screen freezes and you can take your pencil lid and push in on that little tiny button and it will reset your whole calculator okay mine froze do you see this it won't do anything I can push buttons and it won't do anything and since mine is battery I have to take a battery out and then put the battery back in and it will reset but the problem with that is now I have to go back and reset my windows because this is really strange this calculator has just stopped doing what I need it to do it is not responding at all I'm guessing the batteries or something are going out I'm gonna go get a different calculator I apologize so now I have to go back and set my windows negative 100 100 negative oh I'm gonna leave that as 1 then I have negative 100 and 100 second quit all right let's go to our y equals and we are going to put in 4 and then the X key which is right here subtract 3 come down arrow down to y2 and I'm going to put in 9 and I'm going to hit set second step press graph it says wait until you get two lines on your screen finally two lines have come across so now it says the third set press second the trace key which is right here I want the intersection so I'm going to press 5 and then I'm going to press enter 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 until it says intersection and it says X is equal to 3 X is equal to 3 all right next it says we have a negative X now that is called an invisible one the invisible one when you don't have a number in front of a variable it means it's a one okay so we're just gonna split our like this okay we're gonna go back to y equals and we're gonna clear y1 go down clear y2 go back up we're gonna put in negative now if you want to put the one you can if you don't put the one it'll still work one X and you saw that I used the negative key okay that's out front I have to use the negative key plus five go down to y2 and I'm gonna enter one alright now we're ready to solve the first thing we press is hopefully you said graph to yourself and you pressed your graph key waiting for the graph do you see how a negative line goes down and a positive line goes up so this is gonna have a negative slope and the other line went across but you could barely see it it's right on the um, x-axis almost so then we're gonna press second and trace and we want the intersection which is 5 enter 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 and we have the intersection at 4 and 1 x equals 4 okay a couple more problems we're gonna do I know it look, kind of looks like a divide but it's a plus okay we have parentheses so we are going to use those let's first go back to y equals let's clear and go down and clear and go up to y1 our parentheses keys are here at 8 right above 8 and 9 we're just going to put in what we see we're going to let our line this is y1 y2 and I'm going to put three parentheses then I'm going to press X plus 2, close your parentheses. Then I'm going to go down to Y2, and I'm going to put in 15. Hopefully by now you're saying these steps to yourself. First thing you're going to press is, hope you said graph. You're going to wait for how many lines? Hopefully you told yourself two then you're going to press second trace five 
enter, enter, enter until you see that word intersection. It says x is equal to 3. Okay? x is equal to 3. All right. Let's go on. Let's go back to where? y equals. Hit clear. Use the arrow down button. Hit clear. Use the arrow up button. And we've got something in the middle. Is that we're going to use a negative sign or a subtract sign? Does anybody remember? Does anybody remember? Yes, it's the subtract key because it's in the middle. So I'm going to do parentheses. I'm sorry, two parentheses, two x. Then I'm going to use my subtract key and put one, put parentheses, go down, put in 10. What are you going to do next? Hopefully you said graph. Wait for your two lines. There's the second one coming. Then we are going to do second, trace, five, enter, enter, enter. And it says the intersection is x equals three. It looks like we got a lot of the same answers, didn't we? Get your paper at the back near um, and get your practice. Make sure you finish it, complete it, and turn it in for a grade.